Okay, first technique for um, construction is stacked slices. From here, I open a preset 3D model from human head. And here, I change the TC preset that I explained before. Change the unit to centimeter and then original size if you want. Then from here, we have to choose <coughs> first construction technique. I want to explain stacked slices. It creates slices uh, depend on uh, manufacturer setting that you set here. For example, my thickness is three millimeter. Uh, the thickness of here is three millimeter. And here we have a one sheet that you can uh, create uh, an exported DXF for that. I want to mention an, uh, another important thing that a slot offset. I set it to the zero because I use a laser, very uh, thin laser, but you can set it to this number that you want. Uh, depend on your, for example, if you use a CNC router or anything, CNC machine, you can set it. Uh, the first technique is uh, stacked. It's very easy. Uh, and if you export it with these numbers, you can uh, snap them, the one, uh, every piece on top of, uh, other piece and make your tree. You can close that. And then first thing here that you can create a simple dolls. If you activate it, and as you can see, the plane will be appear here. It creates a perpendicular axis, a perpendicular axis to whole object. You can look at it here. That you can. Uh, snap all the pieces based on this um, linear and perpendicular <clears throat> axis here. That is very good guide for your snapping. It's very important. So you have to create one or two dowels. Uh, for creating more dowels, as you can see, you can come here. You can select it. Simply, you can change the position of the dowels, for example, exactly at the center of your object, <clears throat> make sure it passes through all of your pieces, or it's not, you can create more. For example, I create my dolls here, as you can see, you can see the uh, uh, live updating here. You can simply click anywhere that you want to create another dolls here. And then, as you can see, we have two of them. For example, if you cr uh, create dolls from here, and as you can see, it does not pass through in some of the objects, and it's not true. You have to choose the uh, place that it's you. You can make make sure that it's <clears throat> pass through all of all of the objects that you can create uh, two guides to uh, create more accurate and um, correct two D shape of a slice because the snapping all of these pieces exactly in a true direction it's very hard it's very hard uh i don't prefer the shape of the square uh, shape of the uh, circle i like you can change the diameter for example if you have a simple bar uh, metal bar wood bar you can change the diameter of that for example make it one as you can see it's so big or you can change the shape to the square. As you can see, I'll lock the square, make it a half. Sorry, make it a half. <clears throat> I change the perspective. As you can see, it's a square and I can define the edges and I make sure that I snap all of these uh, slices exactly on top of each other. And this software is interesting. It gives you a number, you can uh, stack, um, snap your object according to the number and it's also create a simple shape here if you give this uh, dxf file to the 2d lasers uh, the laser cut this slice 
and uh, create a uh, simple line, simple track here with a uh, less power in the laser. It just give it simple uh, shape here that you can define. For example, the um, upper slice is the border of that slice is there. For example, 64. Where is that? 64 <clears throat> is snapping exactly to the that direction. I can find that. 5, 4. Yeah, it's there. This border is snapping here. And 65 is exactly this. This border, you have to put it exactly. It's This software is interesting. It's guide you very good <clears throat> but in most cases you need dolls don't forget that and if you want you can automatically define that or if you don't want you can deactivate it for deleting that you can simply click the orange means selected and simply delete on your keyboard well in this case i just want one square exactly at the top and as you can see these issues will be uh, correct because they are connecting. The blue, uh, you can see the blue errors, especially in uh, interlock slices. It means it's separated and I, want, I couldn't connect it. The software tells you. Or then as you can see, in some cases, they are disconnected, but it means it's not included in this um, DAOs. And that's it. It's creating for us and everything is good. Another thing is a cross. It's interesting. It gives you a 3D object, an actual uh, 3D object and, and here that you can uh, create a 3D object of this and create your own dolls. Interesting. Or for example, you have another dolls as you can see make sure it intersect the object and interesting it's created 3d cross for you and it gives you 2d <clears throat> and you can create of that nice and interesting or other things uh, all of these settings for example especially modify form is very useful for stacks for other techniques i explain it there <clears throat> and the direction is very simple. Uh, I turn the dials for this situation off to more quickly. A slice direction is very important. Here you can uh, change the direction of the slice. It's very simple. In which direction do you want to move? For example, select this <clears throat> axis. And here you can rotate by angle, for example, for the fine number, simply. As you can see, uh, you can change the direction of your slice in this, or you can simply directly click and drag to change the direction of the slice. Interesting. Or you can simply reset it. And then if you want, you can go to the this direction. For example, from this angle. Interesting. So it has a lot of other settings for other technique. In this technique, we have just uh, simply you can choose the direction and it automatically updates there. Interesting. And we have no issues here. So I explain modify form uh, in another in another lesson. Assembly steps is very interesting. It tells you the assembly. Uh, the process of the assembly. You can, for example, change the material to playwood, <clears throat> plastic. Playwood is more. And as you can see, you can uh, use this slider to create your stacks. Simply, it's number one, number two, number three, and you can, as you can see, it shows it <clears throat> here. It's interesting uh processing that you can understand okay okay you have to choose and stack these together and snap them to create your 3d object and by this you can go in one by one and it tells you part number steps interesting it educates you to how 
uh, snap all of these slices. And after that, if you satisfy from your results, you can get plans. And here, this is our final themes. You can export to the APS for Illustrator CorelDRAW any to the software, or you can export it in a PDF, but I choose DXF. That's why I want to give it to the laser or CNC machine. Uh, be careful about the unit. It has to match the unit that you specify here, and then you can export it to your computer. And this is a DXF file. You can directly go to your um, CNC or laser. That's it. It's very simple. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.